welcome back to my fashion channel. Today, we are going to be exploring the world of winter clothing essentials. This is everything that you need to stay fashionable during the winter time. I wanna say before we get started, I know I'm gonna get comments about this. This video is more geared toward the more fashionable side of winter clothes rather than the more practical, warm side of winter clothes. So for the people that live in very cold places like New York, Chicago, Canada, anywhere where it snows, Michigan, I would say modify this so it works with your like weather in your area because I know some of this probably isn't very practical for like very cold environments. Also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, because I'll probably be wearing a lot of these pieces it's right here. If you want to know my winter clothing essentials, just keep watching. What is this? Hey, uh, come here, you look like a music. First, we start with jackets, outerwear, all of the above. As you can see, you probably see some familiar things on here, things that I've worn so many times before. I can confide in all, is that the right word? I can personally approve all of these. First, we're gonna start with Sherpa jackets, which are incredible. They kind of like rose to the scene, I feel like a year ago with the whole IMG jacket thing. What's great about these is A, they're really cute. B, they're really versatile too, because you can always wear them in warmer winter climates, like 50s maybe. Or if you live somewhere colder, you can also layer them with a bunch of other pieces and they'll still keep you warm and comfortable too. Like who wants to be uncomfortable when it's cold outside? Literally no one. These I think are a little bit more on the pricey side. They're not pricey, but they're more expensive of the Sherpa jackets you can buy. Urban Outfitters has some super cute ones that I'll link down below that are probably a little bit cheaper than this, but also not as like, like good quality as these. Most importantly, they're fashionable and they keep you warm. Also, this I would consider a teddy coat as well. Um, I just recently bought this. I'm gonna put it in a haul actually, but this is from Forever 21 and I just bought it and I'm obsessed with it. And it's amazing. For people with colder climates, a puffer jacket is probably an obvious staple because if you're somewhere where it's cold, it also probably snows. And the good thing about puffer jackets is that they're waterproof, so they're perfect for the snow. My favorite right now is this one from Delia's. They, I don't know if they sell this exact one anymore. I love this. I wore this ice gang and it kept me like completely warm. It's very fluffy. I feel like this is a much more fun take on puffer jackets because I don't know, I feel like a lot of the times puffer jackets are just like black or like white. You know, like this is a more fashionable approach to a puffer jacket. And then if you live somewhere like LA <laughs> where it's like not that cold, there's also more fashionable non-waterproof puffer jackets like this one. I literally don't know where this is from. Um, so sorry, I'll try to find one that looks like this and link it. And last, but certainly not least for outerwear, I have a nice coat, overcoat, petticoat, all of the coats. If you're going to a fancy dinner, if you're going out on the town, once again, you can get these anywhere. I would say I recommend sites like Zara because I did buy this from Zara like a year ago. It was around like $95, which is a lot, but it's held up really well and it's also very cute. I feel like it's a more stylish approach to like long coats. And obviously, of course, it has to be in a fun pink color because the black ones are just a little too boring, okay? I feel like this makes me look very like fashionable because what I'll do is throw on like a good quality pair of jeans, maybe layer a turtleneck under it, and then throw this on in a pair of boots and I'm not the door. And now we move on to shirts. So here are all my top essentials, let's discuss. Obviously, this can't be an essentials video without sweaters, but for those of you that are a little bit in like a money compromise, <laughs> like myself right now, thrifted sweaters are your way to go. These two I thrifted and they're my tried and true. Thrifted sweaters are not only affordable, but they're also ethical because it's reused clothing, so you're doing the environment a little favor. Pretty sure this is chaps which is like the trademarked dad sweater brand of thrift stores. I feel like every sweater in a thrift store is chaps. It's just a beautiful royal blue color. I wear it literally all the time. And then this one is like my newest pickup. Um, I got lucky with this, but it's a Ralph Lauren super thick sweater. Of course, this is red. What is better than a red sweater? I actually have an answer. It's a matching red phone case. You're probably like, oh my God, that's so cute. I agree. 
But do you know what's even better than when your phone case matches your sweater? When you can drop it and nothing happens. In all seriousness, a huge thank you to Caseify for sponsoring this video. Um, when I got approached about this, I literally died because I love Caseify cases. Not only are they so cute, but they're actually like genuinely protective. I've had other kind of like trendy cute cases before, and yes, they're like trendy, but they don't protect my phone at all. But with Caseify cases, you literally get the best of both worlds because they have beautiful trendy designs and they also have military grade drop protection, which means that if you drop your case, nothing even happens. Like, like that's sick. You can't lie, that's sick. I feel like with protective cases too, usually they're like so bulky and ugly. It's like a brick on your phone, but with these, they're sleek, they're cute, they're trendy, and also they protect your phone. Oh, it gets better. I'm sure you saw this has my name on it. Take a mirror selfie, look in the mirror, and I'm like, damn, I'm Abby, that's me. This is a Pro Impact case. You can customize it in a bunch of different colors. They have clear cases. They have, I wanted to make mine red, of course, you know me. And then I did pink lettering because red and pink is my favorite color combination. If you don't necessarily want a custom case, they also have a ton of cute cases and it's the same. It has military grade drop protection. If you're like horrible at gift shopping like me, they're perfect last minute Christmas gift ideas because they're pretty affordable and they're really cute and they protect your friends and your family's phones. So it's like literally what else could you ask for? Plus, if you get them a little personalized touch, it just just makes it a whole world better. You can go to caseify.com slash this. I don't know it yet. And you can get 20% off your new Caseify case. Honestly, why not? You know, treat yourself. I think one of the most important types of shirts that you need for the winter is turtleneck. Not just any turtleneck, fun turtlenecks because I feel like this is just a really easy way to elevate your winter outfits is to wear like like striped turtlenecks, I have this heart turtleneck, I will layer this under t-shirts, I'll layer this under sweaters even, I could even wear it with that pink coat that I showed you. Out of these three, this one is by far my favorite because it's just the most like unique. Um, this one is from one of my favorite brands, Lazy Oaf, which is actually where this is from. This would look, I think, so cool and so unique with that pink trench coat that I showed you. These are also so versatile because you can layer them and be super warm, or if you live somewhere where it's a little bit warmer during the winter, you can just wear the turtleneck, call it a day. Last but not least, these are a new favorite for me. Actually, um, I just purchased both of these and I have worn them nonstop. Brandy Melville button up cardigans. I don't know the exact style of them. I will put it right here. These are perfect because they're very affordable. They're also very soft, despite the fact that they're very affordable. What I love about these is that they have a V-neck, which normally I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's like a good enough V-neck where it doesn't look like you came out of a 2002 magazine. Also, what's perfect is that you can layer turtlenecks under them because they're V-neck, so it'll show up like the turtleneck will show in the v-neck and it just elevates your outfit because it's like layering they're very classy so versatile too i have obviously black and white i can literally make so many outfits with these and i'm just obsessed also quickly i don't have this physically to show you but if you do live somewhere where it's colder i have heard from so many people that uniqlo heat tech they have a whole heat tech line that like traps the heat on your body so it keeps you warmer and they have like a turtleneck so if you wear like the heat trapping turtleneck under a sweater then you'll be even warmer honest I didn't really know what to put in this category because I obviously have never lived somewhere where it's super snowy I would say like a good quality staple for the winter is like thick jeans um, like actual thick denim if that makes sense so like Levi's 501s don't really have much of a stretch to them because they're very thick denim and I feel like that's really your best bet when staying warm both of these are for Reformation which I know is really expensive, but they've held up so well and they're both a very thick denim. These out of all my jeans definitely keep me the most warm. Also, Uniqlo Heat Tech has leggings, so if you don't really want to wear like snow fleece pants, you can always layer the leggings on your jeans and that way it'll like trap the heat in your body. And then for shoes, I don't have anything on the rack. But for me personally, and just for cold weather in general, I would probably recommend opting for like pleather shoes. You're probably like, what do you mean by that? I'll tell you. 
something like Air Forces because I have Converse. Those are like a cloth issue and they're like not waterproof, not snowproof. But these are like not clothy. They're like strong and heavy duty. I have the chenille swoosh Air Forces because I feel like these are a little bit more interesting than just the plain white ones. These are perfect, they're simple, they're fashionable. Also, I feel like they're a pretty good option. I know Goffles flares are so expensive. <laughs> I didn't pay for these, so. <laughs> these are very thick shoes. They're not like cheap, clothy Converse. Like these are like sturdy, solid sneakers. If you wanna spend a lot of money and buy these on like resale websites, I would recommend. And then of course, black ankle boots. I asked for these for Christmas like three years ago. They're the Vagabond Marja boot, if I'm saying that correctly. And these have held up so well. For the longest time, I would always buy like pretty cheap ankle boots. They would always just like get gross and break and just not last. So I was tired. I'm like, you know what, whatever. I really want to invest in like high quality ankle boots. And they have held up so well ever since. They're so classy. The style literally never goes out the style. Like these are always gonna be in because they're just so simple and classy. So this is like a more dressier boot option. And then I I don't have them, but Doc Martens, I feel like is the go-to winter boot because they're really thick. They are super high quality. And if you wear like super fuzzy socks, it's warm and it's cute. Once again, don't have those, but Doc Martens, I feel like is a staple. Anyways, I think that's about it for my personal winter essentials. If you have winter essentials and I didn't mention them, let me know in the comments because eventually some point in my life, I wanna to move to New York and it's a lot colder there than it is here. So I'll probably need more than this. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Thanks for stopping by today. If you watched till the end, I appreciate you. Love you the most. Hope you guys have the most beautiful holiday season ever. Um, and I will see you next week, hopefully with another video. I'm gonna stop talking. I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm like looking at the viewfinder. Staring you in the eyes. See you next week.